Hi everybody, welcome back to another step-by-step -step lesson. My name's Kim and I'm really glad you're here. Today's video is a fun one. Um, this I'm going to show you how to create a random slide generator, basically. It's um, pretty easy to do and anyone can make one in 10 minutes or less. It's really simple, it's fun. Um, Teachers, wouldn't it be cool if you had a slide with each student's name on it? You could put their picture, some cute little things pertaining just to them. And you click a button in the slideshow and then one of the slides randomly showed up. I know there are spinning wheels and other ways to randomly choose a student, but this is kind of fun because you could have a creative slide for each child, which could be a lot of fun. Or if you're a business person doing a presentation and... Uh, you want to keep people's attention, randomize your uh, presentation. Imagine just put things in random order and discuss the topic topics as they randomly come up. It's super easy and fun. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, first thing we need to do though is to enable the developer tab, which is no, not here. So you need the developer tab in order to create our macro. And don't worry, this is not hard. It sounds a lot harder than it is, but it's very easy. So um, just go into, uh, let's see, up here in this um, ribbon area where there's nothing, click on, so right mouse click anywhere over here where there's no um, icons and stuff and do customize the ribbon. So what you want to do is the developer is right over here on this side. All you have to do is click it and that will enable it. So anything that's um, just in the future, if you're looking for something and you can't find it, if you come in here, there's a lot of things that aren't on the ribbon that you can add. If they're not, if they don't have a little mark by them, like here's recording, here's some draw things. All of these things are already there, but. So anyways, we're gonna just click on developer and click okay. So now we have a new tab up here called the developer tab. So you need that um, in order to create our macro is like what I said. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the macro in the description so you don't need to memorize this or anything. So go in here to macros, which is right here. And we're gonna name our macro random slide. Sure, why not? <laughs> and then you click create, because it doesn't exist yet. So we're gonna create it. Okay, now I have, um, let me go over here, let's copy this real fast. My other screen. So all you have to do is go in and copy and paste this little. We don't need to go into what it means, but it's basically going to take the active presentation and the slideshow that we have we're working on. It's going to view a random slide. So it's going to pick um, any of the slides plus two. That way we don't count our uh, title page. Uh, it's just going to be a random number, so a different one's going to come up each time. So anyways, you copy and paste that in there. So um, let me explain this a little bit better. So if you didn't put anything here, computers count differently than humans. Computers start at zero, so it would do slide zero and then slide one, la la la. So we have a title page. So we don't want slide zero, obviously, and we don't want slide one because that's the title page so that's why we're doing the plus two so i hope that makes it anyways so um okay so we've got that in there we're going to go ahead and just close this and uh so we're going to close that so we that was in vi virtual microsoft virtual visual basic God, i can't talk for some reason okay so anyways we've created our macro now um so it's going to go to a specific slide and the active presentation is basically all it's going to be doing. It's very simple, just one little kind of line of code. So let's go to, let's add a button here. 
So insert um, a shape, something that could be a button, like well, I don't know, this one. And you just create your button. Oh, you know what? That's not going to work. We need an action shape. Insert. You got to click this little down arrow. Oh, that would have been silly if I would have done that. Here's our action buttons, which are down here. So let's just pick um, this one. So that's our action button. So what our action button is going to do every time we click on that, that's when it is going to run our macro. So anyways, we're going to write, so um, it, it automatically put our macro in here. I was trying to think why or where it's going to ask us to look for it, but that's the only one we had. If we had more, you could use this drop down here to pick another one, but we're going to run this macro. So let's see, that, that's the only one we have. So that, we're going to go ahead and run that every time we click on that button. So here, um, so it says mouse click, run macro. So we click OK. So we've, obviously, I don't have any more um, slides. We're going to need to slide, add slides. But let's go, um, let's just make a new slide. Let's see, blank. And we'll just add some text to each one. Insert text box. Um, Harry, so we'll, we'll, yeah, you would make this cute. You could do um, all sorts of fun things. You could change the background. You could do whatever you wanted. Um, add Mary's picture here. Let's say Mary was, yeah, let's just make a cute one. So let's insert, um, let's enter some stock images because there's some people in here. Uh, cut out people. Okay, this could be Mary. So let's insert Mary. Okay, so there's Mary. You would obviously put pictures of your students or whatever. So there's Mary. Um, okay, and here's some design options. This is only in Office 365, but it's kind of fun because it gives you some options of what the page could look like. So it's kind of cute. Um, okay, so let's um, create another slide, new slide, blank. Let's insert our text, insert text box. Um, Jeff, I'm just making up names here. Okay, so let's see. I don't know what size I made Mary, but whatever. There's Jeff. Um, let's enter, insert A. So pictures, Stock images. Stock images are also only in 365. I'm using uh, Office 365. If you have another version, you won't have stock in images, but you'll still have web images, so you can still get. But you might want to just use um, pictures of your actual students. I'm just doing this, so. There's him. Let's make one more just for fun. Um, new slide. Insert text box. Okay, let's make that. And then insert a picture, stock images. I cut out people. Pick a different person. Let's go down here. I don't know. Oh, here she looks nice. We'll pick her. And there's Sarah. Okay. So you can make a fun page for each person. Like, let's say we like this. We can just pick that. Anyway, so you can pick these designs if you want to use it. It's kind of fun. Oh, I like this one. There we go. And then we can move her name over. There's Sarah. Okay. So then we're going to now go and run our slideshow. So another thing you can do... Um, if you don't want to go to new slide, I want to show you, you can just click on one and do control D and it makes another one exactly the same. So that way you just change the name in the picture. Let's go ahead and change this since we just did it, but let's get rid of her picture. 
get a new picture. So you can do Control D instead of new slide and then insert the text. And that way the text would always be the same. It's just a little shortcut you could do if you wanted to. So I'll cut out people. Um, there we go. I don't know who these people are, but they are going to be in our slideshow now. Here, Bob looks official. We'll put him like that. Okay, so there's our slides. Um, now we just need to change one thing. We um, we need to change the ability to click anywhere on the screen to advance to the next one because that kind of ruins the whole random effect. PowerPoint normally allows you to click or use an arrow key to go through the slides, but we don't want it to do that. Okay, so we're going to go to our slideshow tab right here. And um, we're going to set up a slideshow. Set, oh, here it is. Set up slideshow. Sorry, I should wear my glasses. Probably be a lot easier for me to see this. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do set up a slideshow. So we're going to do browse as a kiosk, which is right here. Okay, so that's all you need to change. Um, click OK. And then that will force us to use our button. So now let's save our document. Now we need to save it as a, um, let's go to, oh, let's see, let's do desktop. So down here at the bottom, you need to choose a um, PowerPoint macro enabled show, which is right here. Because if you don't do macro enable, it's not going to let us use our macro. So we'll just call it random slide. Sure, that's fine. Okay, so then now we'll hit F5 to watch our show here. Oops. Okay, so here we go. So now we're just going to click on our macro enabled button. And it went to Sarah. Oops. <laughs> Helps if I keep it going. F5. We're going to click it again. Yeah. Sarah again. So it's purely random, so it may click the same person over and over. You know what I should do? I should put a button on each page. Let's do that. Okay, let's bring this back over here. Okay, let's put a button. Let's get our button. Let's copy it. Let's put it on each page. Let's just put it down here. And then Jeff. Let's put it right here. Whatever. Each person can obviously have it wherever. Put it up here. Bob. And let's put it down here. Okay. So now let's save our document. And let's go ahead, move this over here. So it shows on the right screen. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. This time we got Jeff. Now Bob, Mary, Bob. It's fully random, so it could do the same person a couple times in a row. I guess it does Bob a couple times there. There's Mary, there's Sarah. Sarah a couple times. So if you um, have a bunch of slides, obviously your odds of getting uh, different ones each time are better. We only have, you know, four people. So anyway, so you can get an idea of what that looks like. It's fun. It was pretty easy to do. I'm going to put the code in the description below. So make sure you grab that. That's our macro code. Um, anyways, it's fun. It's just a little silly thing, but it can add some excitement to your slideshow keep people paying attention they never know when they're going to be chosen <laughs> uh, anyways that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time